Welcome everybody. Welcome to my page. And um, as the title state, this is going to be uh, your full moon reading, full moon in Scorpio reading <clears throat> for all 12 star signs. And uh, this is going to be the usual five card spread for those who are just tuning in. The five card spread represents the uh, material and then the ethereal uh, aspect of how the moon is going to exert into our world in general and uh, what basically potential we can uncover um hello everybody hello welcome uh welcome to my page and thank you all for joining so uh again because you know i want to make a quick it's not really a disclaimer here but uh, many people for what i see especially on my youtube channel they accept that the reading it is meant for them you know and you need to know that this is just a general reading and under general reading these are let's say energies or potential you can go after and and unfold or rather take advantage of capitalized on etc etc so uh if you don't like what you hear, uh, also I am giving a hint how you can avoid it or if it is something very positive from the cards, I'm giving you guys a hint how you can capitalize on. And if you don't want to do whatever energies the cards gives you for that uh, particular <clears throat> cycle, by all means, it is your free choice. You know, you, you may not do it and then uh, these energies are just going to... Um, diminish and distinguish uh, furthermore into the future so again this is guys not your personal reading this is general reading for the energies that will surround the the star sign how you're gonna use them that is entirely your choice so uh <clears throat> now we are going to the star signs and i will start with aries first going all the way through pisces uh, two Pisces, excuse me, going all the way through to Pisces. And uh, at the end, I will take a, a few questions, you know, from the audience and I will answer to them by drawing a tarot card. Few questions, not all of the questions. So if you want a, a free reading, this is the way how you get a free reading as well. Uh, by either sitting through all the the uh, the show, which is not that, which is not that long, you know, it's a like an hour and a half or so and um, you ask your question after i'm done with pisces or you can catch me there by a chance and again ask your questions so uh that being said let me shuffle now guys and we're going through uh, to aries and as i said five card spread the first card is going to represent the aspect for the star sign that the moon cycle is going to present them with the second card is representing things that will work into uh, in, not in a favor of the star sign or in other words obstacles that the star sign uh, needs to tackle with. The third card does represents best course of action or rather the intentions that the star sign should have if they want to pull, uh, to pull out the maximum out of this uh, moon cycle. The, the fourth card it is the lesson that the, the <clears throat> the star sign is going to learn during this uh, during this cycle and the last one is the energies that surrounds or help in other words the uh the star sign so let me shuffle now cutting and going to aries so the first card that represents one second yeah so the first card that represents um <clears throat> The, the lunar cycle for Aries, this is going to be the Queen of Swords. The second card, which represents the challenges, that will be the Queen of, one, of Cups, excuse me. The third card representing the <clears throat> intentions is going to be the Ten of Cups. The fourth card representing the lesson is going to be the Two of Wands. And the third one, which is representing the energies going to surround the Aries, that will be the Ace of Cups. All right, so leave, let's leave these couple of cards aside for now and let's, let's take a look at the physical representation of this lunar cycle. So what we do have here first that makes impression is a couple of persons or a couple of court, of court cards that could be a person's. Now in case this is a person's, the aspect is all around that woman here, which is a... Uh, have an airy energy. Airy energy, I mean that she is most likely 
either Virgo, Aquarius or Libra, uh, Virgo, Gemini, excuse me, either Gemini, uh, Aquarius or Libra, or it has this ascendant sign. This, this woman is encouraging you in a harsh way, Aries, or it's rather giving you a, a very sound, it's not really an, an ideas, but it's giving you a, a resolutions, ideas over resolutions of your problems. It is just this very, uh, her Thong is very harsh, you know, and it looks like that she's giving you a bad treatment. It looks like that she's giving you a, a quite a, a critic criticism because regardless of what you do, uh, it will seem that you will be rather displeased, but that's not the case. It's kind of like she wants to, for you to unfold the whole potential that you do have. <clears throat> All right. Because this, loma, uh, this woman has a great amount of, um, it's not knowledge, it's more like experience okay she has a great amount of experience and she wants to to uh, to um what is the word here guys so you can be a successor to her experience you know to will you her experience but that could happen only through the hard way around and then we go to the challenges which we do have another woman <clears throat> and this woman is more gentle this woman is more supportive for what it seems and um, it's kind of like she is making you feeling comfortable all right and while you surround yourself with the comfort of this woman it is kind of like you are missing the experience of the other one around so it's kind of like being this could be as well a, a man okay this could be as well a man it, but they will have more like of a of a um, feminine <clears throat> A feminine presence so what happens here is that it's a typical situation really where you choose the person that is much more easy with than the person that is uh, or you can choose a person that is much much more easier with moving on forward or the person who is rather a little bit more tougher with you you know but they could truly teach you on something you know uh, <clears throat> like in the old movies when someone uh, for example is trying to learn a martial arts you know the movies from the 80s with Jean-Claude Van Damme um, Steven Seagal, etc., etc. You know, they always learn something in the dojo, and it looks hard. It looks uh, uh, toiling, and it, it's kind of it looks unbearable. So this is kind of the thing that you go through. You can either go home and cry to your mom, if, if I may say that way, or roll up your sleeves and get to the toils because they are going to give you the a, a very good amount of uh, experience and knowledge and not just only that guys but also are going to make you versatile when you move forward into the future and then we go to the intentions here with the ten of cups and the ten of cups uh, in this particular case intentionally wise is that you need to realize of uh, <clears throat> how much potential really you do have because the ten of cups in this particular case uh, very strongly speaks for that part of the human nature that always wants for more no matter how much you want uh, you have excuse me you always want for more it is kind of like the millionaires you know when you make the, your first million you want to make your second will, million because one million doesn't seem enough anymore when you have a a, a two-bedroom house you start wishing for four bedroom house or for three bedroom house, etc. etc. No matter how much you have, you always want for more. This is from the human nature. And this time you need to draw from that human nature areas and ask for more. And more can be given to you by this woman, which is as I said, a little bit rough, <coughs> harsh, and unforgiving as well. But it is unforgiving for a, a good reason, I could say, because she has quite of a poignant past she made a lot of mistakes along the way but she learned her lesson and it's just she doesn't want to see you making the same mistakes again and that's why it's kind of she she looks mean but it's it's not exactly mean but it's rather more rough as i said so then we go to the uh, second cards which are representing the ethereal aspect of the cycle here the lesson and the energies which are going to surround you. So the lesson, first of all, is the Two of Wands. And Two of Wands is about scouting and reconnoitering new fields of, exer uh, of exerting one's skills and one's presence in general. The Two of Wands is about uh, the aggression to be better and better, to expand your um, and sprue as well 
um, as I said, your skills and your knowledge as well. So this card regarding especially career is always about realizing how much you can you can achieve in a different place. All right. So this card always comes when it comes to career, it almost always the signifies that there is a, a better place for you. <clears throat> or you can attend into a, a better stuff in case you're doing a, a private business. This, this card could be a sign for a, a new, <clears throat> not new tasks, but rather like a new services that you can provide to the public or to your clients that are going to be much more lucrative for, of the current, uh, of the current um, you know, services that you are giving. But nonetheless, this card is um, about sprawling guys and you are going to do so especially with the energies which are the ace of cups <clears throat> and these energies are about um let's say that these energies are about that the fate have your back in the sense that uh things are not gonna go down into shape because the ace of cups is that card saying that no matter how bad one situation can get, there will be always that kind of an, an event or circumstances which are going to magically start resolving your problems or it's going to at least give you the necessary means in order to resolve your problems. So <clears throat> again, this week is going to be rough with interaction. Well, this a couple of weeks, excuse me, Aries. It's going to be rather <clears throat> rough from interactions with that particular woman mentor it could be your supervisor as well pushing you to do something you highly dislike and it's really tough but once you once you do it you know you're going to see how good you are as well <clears throat> it could be that version of interpretation and no matter how tough it gets and no matter you know how um helpless it seems always something magically is going to happen along the way that is going to give you the means necessary to push it through <clears throat> and at the end guys you're going to see that progress cannot be achieved by sitting on the sofa at home this is the point of that lunar cycle for you progress is achieved by um you know dropping sweat by some people say dropping blood, you know, but I don't want to get to that point of spilling blood. It's about spilling sweat. It's about toiling. It's about working, obtaining knowledge, obtaining skills, etc., etc. Otherwise, you are sitting on one place. <clears throat> so uh, that was for Aries. And now we go to Taurus. Yeah, a long way to go to Capricorn. Well, a long way, like... I would say in one hour. But hey, also listen to your moon and ascendant sign as well, because that also do matter. Alright, so Capricorns, we have the nine of wands for you for the uh, representation of the lunar cycle. Then it's the ace of wands of uh, challenges that you need to overcome. Ten of pentacles is the intention wise card. Then we have the ace of pentacles lesson that needs to be learned. And the last one is going to be energies which surrounds you and helps you. That will be the seven of swords. Let's put these couple of cards down for now. And let's uh, look at the physical manifestation, let's say, that way, of the lunar cycle. Nine of Wands, guys, <clears throat> points that this lunar cycle will be all about conscious changes that you are going to make either into your career or either into your uh, relationship. Well, the opportunity to make conscious changes. And under conscious changes, I mean those changes that uh, you can force with your own attitude, with your own efforts, and with your own actions. And these changes need to be meant only to improve uh, your circumstances in the sense that you, may, you need to make your environment much more comfortable. So looking at these cards, 
this cycle is not going to be for you Tauruses a, a crazy cycle of activities you know um, it is just is going to be a cycle where you clear uh, clean up the the minor obstacles along the way and also this card here does represents as well uncovering of a arrival or of a competition that you didn't knew about so someone's uh, which which were uh, acting in a surreptitious way against you it is likely to be uncovered during these couple of weeks so you can uh, you can take a step forward uh, in front of them what i mean is that you will be one step ahead all right and then uh, the challenges that you need to overcome here is the ace of wands and the ace of wands in that particular position speaks for rather laziness or unwillingness to make those kind of changes you know because you may think that you are in yet into a either a comfortable position or you may think that you don't have the vital energy as well to do those kind of uh, minor changes let me give you an example of a minor change conscious minor change let's say you are in a relationship all right or let's say that you do have a family you have a kid your wife or your husband is driving the kids all, uh, every morning into the school or you are let's say you are driving the kids all um, every morning into school so um, <clears throat> this lunar cycle that could change for example you know that kind of a change you may make your other part or your partner to start as well driving the kids to the school in a certain morning so there is a, a responsibility shared all right it is just <clears throat> here it is um, the uh, absence of uh, well I cannot say it really desire but absence of readiness to jump into a um, conflict should they have any and I don't think that there there will be any conflicts when you start making those conscious changes guys especially career wise those changes could be you changing your desk rearranging your desk you, you know changing um <clears throat> connections with people in the sense that you stop communicating with one co-worker and then start start communicating with another which is much more positive and um <clears throat> much more cheerful as well but all comes to that you know how much activity you can take on because for what it seems the newness is going to be problem for you Tauruses, because somehow you will be afraid to invite <clears throat> newness into your in, into your life because it will make you feel unstable and it will make you feel that there is something to lose out there and then we do have the intentions here with the with the ten of pentacles and here is why you need to do that guys to reach personal independence so whatever you do whatever changes you force you know whatever you are after during this particular lunar cycle should be so you can obtain more and more personal <clears throat> liberation and personal independence regarding either your husband or a wife regarding your supervisor or your co-workers regarding your job as well you know so to me this card speaks that you are arranging the things so you can have a plan b <clears throat> excuse me so you can have a plan b in case something happen and things are start falling apart and then we do go to the ethereal ethereal representation of this lunar cycle we have the lesson that you need to learn here the ace of pentacles you know and in that particular case the ace of pentacles points that the the great things start bit by bit so you start with with small changes now conscious changes and they will start snowballing afterwards so uh don't think that even a, a minor action of yours is going to be other fut uh, <clears throat> uh it's going to be futile you know because even the minest action that you can do can have a, a great <clears throat> kind of like a, a great vibration that will give you an outlook for the future and then we do have the energies which are going to support you here the seven of swords no matter what you do with that car guys you will always get what you have been owned so in other words you you will not be mistreated in a sense of unfair treatment from others from your wife or husband from your boss or supervisors for anybody not to mention that these cars especially with the uh the nine of wands 
it is a, a very favorable situation uh, it is a very favorable com combination for uncovering a um, an enemy a hidden enemy around you someone that is really acting surreptitiously against you guys and afterwards you know serving the justice it is kind of like smite them down with a certain actions of yours or distinguish their influence upon your world etc etc so you will be one enemy shorter after this particular lunar cycle with the changes that you do you know when you start making those minor changes it is when you are going to see that there is something wrong with somebody around you Hello everybody, um, again I want to say that uh, at, the end of the, at the end of the stream when I'm done with Pisces um, I will take a, a few questions from the audience and I'm, and I'm going to answer to them with a, a drawing a tarot card <clears throat> for free, alright? So if you want your answer, your question, excuse me, to be answered for free by me this is the way you do it you stay to the end of the stream ask your question and i will um pick a couple of well several people to answer their questions all right so going to gemini now The first card for Gemini representing this lunar cycle is going to be the Seven of Swords. Then the second one, which is representing the challenges here, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is the third one pointing to the intentions. So this is a warning for you. I will just stop here before I draw the next couple of cards, guys. This is a warning. And these cards are pointing to you that with the urge and with the aim to be either lucrative or stable you are doing something bad against people that laid your hand all right and this is displayed here by these couple of cards so you're going against something either you're going against something that you have promised either you're going against a um code of conduit that you are, have agreed to follow you know or you are going against people even not consciously but subconsciously with, with you know without even you knowing it you are going against people that did you well all right and uh, it is very advisable here with these uh, with this card as an intention to stop doing what you are doing and really think it through because it will lash back in a way that you will not like it at all all right it's just you are going to be thrown off your comfort zone without even knowing how it happens you know and you are it is likely that you're going to be shocked of the circumstances that happened so if you think you are the smartest guy you aren't there is always someone that is more smart than you are and you're going to be caught with what you are doing just so you know but all in all, these cards here are showing, guys, that everybody is going to get what they deserve, all right? And especially with these couple of cards, this is regarding, um, how, can I, how can I place it? It is, uh, <clears throat> it is regarding a silent treatment in the sense that, uh, uh, let's say that you have kept in a silent treatment something you wanted to say to your partner in love or to your boss, kind of like, uh, you know, screw you, and um, you wanted to lay out your own personal ideas but you have been smothered down this particular until now well this particular lunar cycle the circumstances will be in such order that nothing really can be kept hidden either in your favor or against your favor everything will come to light and when it comes to light guys the situation will be set in stall and either you're going to deliberate regarding what you should do with those who um, <clears throat> who served you unfair treatment or either they are going to deliberate what they are going to do with you because you have served them unfair treatment. 
So be very careful, Gemini. I mean, think it through to whom you are actually acting against, you know, the code of conduit, to whom you are trying to do wrong, you know, and to whom you are not fulfilling the obligations you have taken. And then the next couple of cards, we go to the lesson learned, and that is the Queen of Pentacles, and afterwards is the energies which are going to support you. So the Queen of, <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles in that particular case, it is that uh, when you say a word, you basically throw a stone. We do have that sentence here into, uh, in our language. Actually, this is a Roman sentence. And uh, Roman, I, I don't mean Romanian, I mean from the Roman Empire that when you say a word you throw a stone into the water and you never can take it back again so basically keep to your um promises this is all that you need to do during this uh, lunar cycle and uh, when you do so even if it seems that whatever you have uh promised kind of worked against you or you have didn't think it through and you find it less lucrative right now or less successful it's kind of like you you have that um, feeling that you have screwed up, all right? Then uh, the energies here is going to help you out with the three of uh, with the three of cups, and not just only people that you have you are involved with are going to help you be uh, achieve what um, you know achieve um, comfort in a sense of uh, either money gain, you know, or in a sense of uh, exerting skills etc etc but also uh your efforts will start bearing fruits with these energies the three of cups so um for you gemini during this lunar cycle it's all about being fair guys so be fair toward yourself toward the people you have gave a promise or you have taken an obligation to all right <clears throat> because everybody will pay one way or another all right so now shuffling and we're going to uh cancer All right, so Cancers, um, the first card which represents the Moon Cycle is going to be the Eight of Cups for you. The second card, which is the challenges that you need to overcome, this is going to be the Ten of Wands. Three of Swords is the uh, intention-wise. High Priestess, it's the lesson learned. Ace of Swords is the energies. So uh, these five cards are showing very important cycle that you cancers are going to go through. And this cycle, it, it, it could be taken on, on a superficial level. This cycle could be taken as a... Um, you are going to distinguish either the reality from fiction or you are going to distinguish the chore from duties. You are going to distinguish... Uh, noxious aims from what is substantial all right so physical represent uh, representation here is that you're going to realize by based by these three you're going to realize guys that either um no matter how much you invest into certain thing either into your relationship or either into your career project personal um, personal business or friendships as well you know it, it, it will be different for every single one of you this is very broad uh, <clears throat> implantation of cards but you're going to realize guys that some things just ain't worth pushing forward because the other side of the matter doesn't want you to push forward it's 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 kind of like the same thing let's say it that way um uh, you do favor to somebody that didn't ask you to and you expect them to be grateful for that 
if someone doesn't ask you for a favor you don't have to make them a favor you know uh, i'm th this is what i'm trying to say <clears throat> here that sometimes it is better to be conservative and sometimes it is better to uh, not spread yourself around if i may say it that way so in this lunar cycle you cancers will realize some uh, really harsh and uh, painful truths about the human nature not about your boyfriend or a girlfriend not about your boss not about your um work in general but about the human nature all right facing a um unforgiving attitude from somebody you know facing ungratitude as well the lack of gratitude for the services you have provided facing uh, the lack of gratitude as well for the kind treatment that you have given but without the other person asking for all right and um, that will make you feel very bad in the sense that you will see how these people can do that you know how they can how they can have that such an attitude and this is where you need to realize that people are different for example i am such a person if I, if i don't if i don't ask for a favor i'm not i'm not feeling obliged to be grateful for a favor given on its own accord i mean i i'm on the um i'm on the opinion that if you make a favor without being asked then that means that this favor comes from your pure heart and you and you don't expect anything in return in addition you know um uh, including excuse me including a a good attitude as well so uh this is for the material part and it is likely that projects are going to be dropped off the table realizing that it's just not worth it uh most likely you're gonna cut off some help that you're giving as well you know most likely you will become more reserved to certain people into your social circle i don't think that this is a, about your relationship or your or it kind of aff affects directly your uh, your career it just gives you more understanding of with, with which people you need to make a connection and which people you need to basically keep um aside from yourself and uh, the intention of wise here with the three of swords guys is that uh, as fast as you realize that human nature is very unique and everybody has their own stereotype of living you know and um, nobody and nobody can be basically exactly as you so in other words have no expectations from people around you as soon as you stop having expectations from people around you things are going to go very great for you i mean you're gonna find yourself happy you're gonna find that um your efforts that you're giving are well appreciated because now for a change they are going to not be such rich efforts all right but they will be rather efforts just so you can make a, re a representation of oneself and whoever wants to pay for your efforts they are going to pay it either with attitude with money you know with attention etc etc and uh, then we do go to the um <clears throat> ethereal representation of the lunar cycle we have the lesson that you're about to learn and that is the high priestess and this is a lesson about the human soul guys the human soul could be so different that the human soul is mystery and as a new cancer will be able will, will start excuse me obtaining that asian knowledge about the human soul and about the core of the human nature here with the uh with the high priestess you will basically be able to know and predict stuff about people's behavior and about people course of actions so uh <clears throat> with this kind of a lesson you uh cancer will be able to actually plan one step ahead against your ex-husband that gave you on a divorce you know against uh, your boss who is trying to get rid of you etc etc and probably this is why they're trying to get rid of you or they have the means necessary to get rid of you it is because you're trying to be everywhere and you you are trying to help everybody and the more uh how can i say it? the more tasks you get involved yourself in the more chances you got to make a mistake so be conservative guys uh what i'm trying to say is that your knowledge your skills and your efforts worth something.
do not just give it for free. As the Joker in the in the uh, movie Batman: The Black Knight said, if you can do something well, if you can do something exceptional, you never do it for free. So you cancer should start learning how to ask your price. You know how to name your price and demand it. And then we do have the energies here, which is the Ace of Swords. And these energies are going to help you. This is just a helping hand here from the energies to place an accurate diagnosis of what your position is right now into your relationship and into your career and how you should act moving on forward in the future. All right. So that was for... Um, uh, one second, guys. I will just get my coffee here. Oh, a nice cup of coffee. All right, so, well, Kerry, as far as I know, cancers, this is their struggle to their entire life, all right? <clears throat> Thank God my brother doesn't have that much planet into cancer, you know, etc., etc., no, because he very well knows his price and he is a cancer. But I know a lot of cancers, you know, and they are very... Um, how can I say it? They're very prone to make uh, favors and to help people. Same things is with Libra as well, you know, uh, especially um, in Virgo, I think. I'm no astrologer. I'm just speaking from observations with the people, uh, with the people I know. But um, as a Scorpio, guys, you the skills that you have obtained and the knowledge that you have gathered along the along the years of practice let's say into your career and toiling with life as well learning its lessons it, it shouldn't come for free if someone wants your knowledge they need to pay for it because you because you worked hard to obtain it same thing, same things with astrologer and, and a tarot reading. Because you know why it's funny? I had that comment saying uh, in my YouTube videos, uh, one guy said, get yourself educated, you know, get your job, stop manipulating people with tarot cards. This is such a, uh, I never heard more stupid statement than that. Because to accuse a tarot reader of manipulating people with cards is the same thing to, uh, to accuse psychotherapists that manipulates people because he knows how the brain works, basically how they, the, the mind works. It's, it's the same thing. Because these type of sciences, do you know how much it takes to learn the cards? And especially when it comes learning into combinations and spreads. It takes years of practice. This is an education. As the same thing goes with numerology, astrology, um, Kabbalah as well, Reiki, etc., etc. This is a profession. And I am educated. I do have a, a PhD into engineering as well. So <laughs> it's kind of like... <laughs> anyway, so uh, my point is that you struggle through life, you know, to gather all the skills that you obtain right now and all the knowledge and it shouldn't go for free, guys, because you have put an effort, you have invested into it, your time, your energy, and you need to demand payment. And especially when you deal with, as I said, psychotherapy, you know, or... Um, let's say consulting you are consultant this is why the consultants are so expensive or the lawyers you know or or the medical doctors because they give you an information and the information in my opinion and not just in my opinion but throughout the entire world is the is the uh the good with the second highest value of currency all right the information the next one which is the more expensive is the health all right. But the medical doctor gives you an information what is wrong with you and what you need to do in order to fix yourself. You know, the lawyer gives you an information <clears throat> how you stand into the into the justice system and how you can uh, win, you know, against your rival from the other side. The astrologer gives you an information what is up to come. 
you know, same goes with the tarot reader or the numerologist. And these, the information costs money, you know. So this is what I wanted to say here. And uh, someone asked where I am from and uh, I am from Bulgaria and I still live in Bulgaria. Thank you guys. Thank you all for the support. And I'm just expressing here an opinion. You know, my opinion is not a mandatory to anybody here. I mean, you can think whatever you want and you can, you can and should actually stand behind it. It is just as, as I gave right now an opinion, I kind of support it with arguments. So next time someone wants to give me such an opinion, please support it with arguments. Because otherwise it's, it looks stupid. It just looks stupid. All right. So next one is Leo and Leo for you, for the lunar cycle, we do have the chariot card, the card that represents your lunar cycle. The second one, which represents the challenges, guys, is going to be the Eight of Swords. The next one that represents the intentions, this is the Tree of Cups. So I will stop here right now. And uh, for you, Leo, it is about vast progress that you can achieve during this lunar cycle, most likely relationship-wise, it is what I'm going to say. All right. And uh, relationship-wise, this is a, about breaking up with the past, not with a current relationship, but especially for those which are single. This looks like breaking up with the past and start dating other people, um, you know, involving yourself into new social circles so you can find a good match for yourself. Now, these are just energy. As I said, this is a general reading. So you do have that opportunity, Leo's. If you are single and if you are feeling very bad for the fact that you are single, well, pick up your ass, guys. Take off your ass, excuse me, and go out, start dating. Because this week or these couple of weeks that are yet to come, you have a, an enormous chance, guys, to find someone that you both are going to en enthrall one another. What is going to be a problem? is that the physical connection here or the physical impression which you're going to have with them and they're going to have with you in the sense that you will like very well one another is going to disrupt the communication in between you two. So it's kind of like uh, you will not want to hear what they have to say about their past, about their job, about, you know, their family. You will be agreed with everything <clears throat> because you simply go <clears throat> want to spend time with them. And this is what you should not do here. Seven, uh, eight of swords into relationships, it comes as a uh, disruption into a um, communication. One believes one thing and it doesn't want to hear anything for anything else, you know, <clears throat> anything else about it, excuse me. And you have to, and you better believe it. So this, uh, this learner cycle is going to be progress for you, not just into your relationship, but as well into your career. But when it comes to your career, guys, this is going to be a preparation for a big jump moving forward. It could be a, a new promotion coming in for you, Leo, or a, a new project, big project coming in for you, as well as a, a new job. But you also need to involve yourself into team experiences here, all right? Because the people that you're going to work with excuse me, are going to give you the vision you need in order to take these important steps. And then we go to the next couple of cards, which does point <clears throat> the lesson and the energies. First, I will start with the energies here, the uh, Knights of Pentacles for you, Leo. And this points that you will be very confident, guys. Everything will be so simple for you in the sense of that whenever um, decision you need to make, the answer will be simple. Not to mention that whatever action you need to uh, you need to exert into either your project or your relationship, these actions will be support with compassion because you will truly like what you're going to do. And it is very likely that during this week, this uh, couple of weeks that the lunar cycle is uh, defined for you, Leo, you're going to find something you really want and you will start make a work for it. And the lesson that you are going to learn here is that if you want 
well it kind of goes for what i said before i start with leo but uh the uh the king of pentacles says us two things as a lesson before you go for the newness you first need to capitalize on a hundred percent for the things you are already doing do not leave anything unfinished before you actually jump into the future that being said do not break make that harsh break with your past but rather reach a closure with it and as well if you want something you first need to give something so in case you are going to ask for help you know then uh, you need to ha you better have something to offer in return for that help if you want just for the idea to maintain your personal independence from these people who are going to help you but the but the help is going to come should you need it all right so that was for leo now going to uh, to virgo Thank you, Denise. Uh, Donna, the beginning, uh, the, the beginning you can get to uh, when the stream is done is going to be uploaded on a replay and as well it's going to be re uh, uploaded on my YouTube channel so you can choose from you know both place where you want to where you want to watch it for example if you do have these smart tvs that have an app a youtube application you can <clears throat> you can basically start it from your tv and watch it while you're sitting on your sofa so for virgo the first card that represents the lunar cycle is going to be the empress card then we do have uh the challenges that you need to overcome this is going to be the the knight of cups and then we do have the intention wise this is the wheel of fortune lesson you you are about to learn here during this lunar cycle uh virgos is going to be the tree of cups and the last one which is the energies that are going to support you that will be the five of cups all right so uh, these these three cards are very superficial in a sense that first off we have the Empress during this lunar cycle, which points, guys, that you are going to be, you are going to feel very comfortable into your environment, either into your relationship or either into your career. You will feel lack of pressure in a sense that nobody is going to pressure you to do things, to decide things. You know, on top of it, you are going to approach your situations very mature, and you are going to see into into the eyes of others worthy of a leader now the problem here is that guy all right the challenges that you need to overcome and this is a guy thinking that they deserve your place in the sense that they have worked more than you did and your and your place given here either beside your husband or a wife or either beside um you know your boss or supervisors is not yours to take but it is theirs to take that is a, a person it is not a just a man you know it could be also a woman so we do have a competitor that only speaks too much and is trying to work as hard as you do but what that person doesn't realize because uh, even though the knights of cup is the uh, the knights of cups is a person who is overflowing with joy you know and it's capable of emotions and etc etc they are not very smart so what they don't understand is that instead of you working hard you have worked smart and that's why you are further than they are it's it's uh, it's how it goes you know it's about an evolution uh, <clears throat> in uh, before a uh, 4000 years ago we have worked hard now we are working smart and that's why we created civilization all right <clears throat> and so <clears throat> Your intentions here uh, with the 10 of, uh, not with the, yeah, with the major arcana 10 with the wheel of fortune, it is about take the full advantage of the pleasures and of the situations, despite of what anybody else tells you guys, 
um, <clears throat> on your behalf, you know, and basically live this lunar cycle the way you want to live it. For you, Virgos, is going to be a lunar cycle where you can do whatever you want to do, guys. You want to go on a, vac a vacation? Well, go then. Uh, it's, it's not going to hurt anybody. Uh, you know, you want to spend more time home? Go spend more time home. It's all about your choice, guys. It's all about how you want to do it. The point here is, is that you're going to have the window of opportunity to do it the way you want to do it, Virgo, if that makes sense to you. So this is why it's, um, it's very superficial and broad, that reading, because it's going to be highly personal for every single one of you. You want to spend more time with a person of interest of yours? Well, you will have the chance to do it. So even though there will be a competition there, you know, you want to work on a certain project, even though it's not your project, well, you are going to be given the opportunity to do so and to, dish, and to just, uh, you know, basically push away the, the one that is a... Um, that is a from from the start on that particular project, you know, uh, because you are more capable, you are smarter, Virgo. And uh, then we do have the lesson you need to learn, and that is going to be the tree of uh, the tree of cups, guys. And the tree of cups has a little bit of a different implantation here. While you are feeling very comfortable into your environment here, it will work for you to um, express your emotions especially the emotions of hatred, people that you hate, situations that you hate, people that makes you feel miserable and that are highly unpleasant when they are around you. Well, say it out loud so these people know about it and they don't pollute your world with weakness anymore. And then we do have the energies which are going to surround you here. That is the Five of Cups. And... Uh, Five of Cups as an energy is one of these cards, first of all, that the energies are going to um, put some milestone in a sense that you cannot go worse that, that it, than it is at this particular moment. But also the Five of Cups as an energy card says that um, your personal self-respect or your self-respect, excuse me, is going to remain intact regardless of uh, what you're going to hear about yourself you know, and uh, how people are going to act against you. No one will be able to distinguish your uh, self-belief, you know, and your confidence as well. Hmm. Thank you, Sue. No, Virgo really looks very good. I want to be a Virgo right now because this is how I like to roll. I do whatever I like to, whatever I please. This is how I build my life, you know. And um, Virgo has that chance during these couple of weeks in the full moon of um, of Scorpio. They They can really do whatever they please. All right, so now is the time to say, because many people are asking here, is that um, the way you get the free reading, guys, or free answer to your question is by staying to the end of the stream, and then you ask your question when I'm done with Pisces. No question before Pisces will be taken under consideration. And then I will pick a, a several questions of those who are asked, and I will answer to them by drawing one tarot card per question. All right. So, now, Libra, and we start very well for Libra because that is going to be the Nine of Pentacles <clears throat> as a uh, topic of the Lunar Cycle, and then we have the Eight of Pentacles, guys, as a, a challenges that you need to overcome, then is the Hierophant card as an, an intentions, all right, then is the Ace of Swords as lesson you need to learn, and afterwards is the Ten of Wands as a, an energies that are going to support you to, during this lunar cycle. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, Libra, this is going to be extremely potent week talking about creating stability. 
and establishing one's position, being in a um, finding a good job, guys, establishing stable relationship as well, um, re uh, recuperating uh, communications with your family as well. You know, it will be very, very positive week from the material aspect. Uh, the things that make you feel insecure will be no longer. This is what I'm trying to say. And this comes here from these couple of cards, all right? It is just the problem is that you're going to be very, very busy because many things are going to start popping up. You're going to be very busy regarding your work and regarding your career. And when it, when it comes to your relationship, these couple of weeks, in case you are single guys, well, you, congratulations, you have catch up a, a big fish. So someone you're going to meet during these couple of weeks is going to be a big fish for you. And it's up to you to catch it. All right. And those who are into a relationship yet, they have to start praising the, um, how can I place it? Um, praising the carefree environment into one relationship. Because for what it seems with these three cards, guys, your partner is truly trusting you, all right? And they are, they will allow you to do things, whatever, uh, whatever, please, uh, whenever things you please, excuse me, uh, into your relationship without having a big, um, uh, consequences for them but it is very important here to maintain the trust this is what oh, this is what the hierophant says all right not to mention that in your career the hierophant here points to a uh, activities which you are going to find very amusing as well as the hierophant says though should there is a problem persisting all right the problem can be resolved when you step on already current convictions code of conduits and leading a, an open conversations with the people involved into these matters and into these uh, in, into these issues. But all in all, for you, Libra, this is going to be very potent week, lucrative and successful. And uh, <clears throat> the only issue, as I said, guys, is about the business you are going to be. Basically, you're not going to have a free time. So uh, you want more money? while well, start working you want uh, harmony into your relationship while well, start working toward it because it's definitely achievable during this week the thing with the nine of pentacles here guys is that the fortune is is uh, kind of like a <clears throat> laying it it grace upon you with both of its fistfuls all right and uh, you are gonna feel um you're gonna feel kind of like um blessed to be on that place you are right now so it's very it's very likely that you're going to find yourself well supported as well as i said from family and from the people around and then we do have the lesson you need to learn that is the ace of swords and the ace of swords it is a, a card in that particular case guys saying that uh if one thing is good it is just good but it's, if it one thing is bad it can always go worse that being said, uh, this lunar cycle, you're going to start appreciating actually the values you have around yourself. Or in other words said, guys, you're going to see that there are much poorer people than you are. All right. And you are going to basically go along with that and uh, be very grateful about the things you possess at this particular moment, either as a career, either as a job, you know, or either as a relationship, friendships, etc., etc. And the energies that are going to surround you, Libra, is the Ten of Wands. These energies points, guys, that during this lunar cycle, you are going to be, first of all, very aggressive, uh, chasing on success, and you are going to basically deny failure, all right? And um, you're going to chase not just one thing, but you're going to chase that awesome task you have placed in front of yourself. And these energies will constantly recharge you with personal energies. All right, because these are universal energies and they are going to recharge you with personal energies to chase your goal, which means that you will feel no uh, fatigue whatsoever. Emotional, what I mean. All right. So that was for um, that was for Libra. Now going Scorpio.
Scorpio, for you we do have the Queen of Swords as the topic of uh, the lunar cycle. Then is the King of Swords as the challenges you need to overcome, guys. Then is the Three of Cups as an intentions you need to put here. Then it is the Three of Swords as a lesson you need to learn. And then is the Ace of Wands as an energy that you that is going to surround you. Wow. All right. So you, Scorpio, this uh, this couple of uh, weeks are going to be rather, uh, let's say, they're not going to be unpleasant, guys. And they're not going to be rough. It is just that uh, you're going to be irritated by the position you're finding yourself at. Because uh, you're going uh, this is uh, this is displayed here in these couple of uh, the, these couple of cards. Really, it's kind of like you're trying to push something forward without recognizing that either your strategy and your approach is wrong, or that it is it is futile pushing it. It is it is basically what it what these cards says that you will have difficulties obtaining the um, the accurate view upon the situation. Let me give you an, an example, Scorpio. So let's say that you love a person and you want to be with them, but uh, and even though you maintain a good, a good communication in between you and, and that person, you know, and you think that magically in the future or kind of like, you know, at some point, you will either recuperate your relationship or you will become in a relationship, suddenly you may realize that this ain't going to happen or you are denying the thought that this ain't going to happen. So it's it's more like accepting here, guys, how the things are and moving on forward with that. And your intentions should be or always to strive toward positivity in a sense of that you do have friends, guys. You do have activities that you can go in with and um, basically make those negative thoughts vap vaporize from your mind. Very important here during this lunar cycle, uh, Scorpio, in case you are a um, an, an emotional Scorpio, to kind of like keep your mind occupied, all right? Keep your mind occupied with positive thoughts, especially when it comes to thoughts of success into the future. Very important to, uh, to know for yourself, Scorpio, during this lunar cycle, is that you already have been in, in a such similar place in the past, guys. You have the poignant experience from the past. Do not um, do not ignore it, but simply draw from it and make your final decision here. Because it could be, as I said, about your current or future relationship, but also it could be about your current job, you know? You kind of, let's say that uh, you kind of know that uh, your approach is either wrong or your boss is trying to get rid of you and you think that this is going to magically change with snap of the finger or with waving a, a, a wand or something. It, it ain't going to change, Scorpio. It is very important here, guys, to recognize the accuracy of the situation and to name it thoroughly. And from there, you're going to see that you do have quite of an options available. And that is expressed here, guys, by these couple of cards, because the energies, Scorpio, are going to give you the opportunity for the new beginning. So if that person doesn't want to be with you, screw them, guys. There is a, another one coming in and you can be very happy with them. Not to mention that the lesson here is the Three of Swords saying that the, the faster you go through this poignant thoughts, and the faster you go through these hurtful emotions, the the stronger you are gonna go. Or you are going to um, leave that position, all right, or pass through that time. In a sense of that, you need to realize that everything happens for a reason. And your downfall right now, Scorpio, is so you can become stronger, happier, more successful, and in better zone of comfort afterwards and this is because the new initiative is given to you guys that is going to be your new either your new job a uh, new empathizement with a person you know new communication if you want to say it as well a uh, new beginning all right so uh have faith scorpio and do not hang on into celluloid 
imaginations, all right, or, or celluloid hopes, should I say. For those who doesn't know celluloid, because I know that not everybody has a um, English as a native, celluloid means something unreachable, celluloid means like in a fairy tale, for example, dragons are celluloid because they don't exist, they exist only into a fairy tale, so it's kind of like something unreachable by a infinite margin, all right? <clears throat> so, um, basically, that is that for Scorpio, uh, whoever doesn't want you in their lives, it is they are misguised, it is their loss, so uh, instead of uh, <clears throat> trying to bruise yourself upon someone's life guys just look around yourself because there is somebody else wanting you to be in their life and you can definitely and you're gonna feel more productive you're gonna feel cherished praised and as well uh, you're gonna feel loved so it's 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 all you need Now, uh, Capricorn is uh, one from now, Kenya, Kenya how? So it's uh, kind of like now it's Sagittarius. Well, we see the Three of Swords is uh, because many people, or especially readers, says that the Three of Swords is about feeling heartbroken and it is about, uh, you know, being in a depression. Well, depression I couldn't agree with, but the Three of Swords it is a, a such card where uh, your thoughts are making you feeling bad, okay? So the things you think about are making you feeling bad while you totally don't have to, all right? So it's all about, the Three of Swords is all about negative thinking against positive thinking. The Three of Swords is about receiving a harsh truth, all right? And instead of just accepting that truth, the person is prone to hope that this is going to change. Well, was the truth? The truth is one, guys, all right? There is no second truth. There is only one truth. And you need to accept it. As soon as you accept it, the better you will be able to recuperate and you won't experience those negative emotions because your, <clears throat> your mind is making you feel bad. Not other people or not other situations. It is your mind that, or your thoughts that twist and tangle through your mind and making you feel lost. That is the tree of sorts. <clears throat> all in all, you know, in, in general meaning. So yeah, now Sagittarius. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles is for Sagittarius. Um, a representation of the lunar cycle or the topic of the lunar cycle, then is the six of wands, guys, as they are challenges that you need to overcome. Eight of, uh, eight of swords. It is um, the intentions you need to have. And then we do have the nine of swords as a lesson you need to learn. And uh, eight of cups, it is the, the energies that are going to support you. All right. So for you, Sagittarius, we do have an, an event which is going to happen. And uh, let's say that you are going to make a, a certain mistake, either into your career or either into your relationship. All right. Um, it's kind of like you, you're going to have that feeling or rather after the mistake is done, you know, you will kind of like uh, either regret it or you're going to have that feeling that you have missed a, a big opportunity over there. Now, what is important here now, I need to show it to you with these um, cards as well. Here we do have the lesson and the energies in the Eight of Cups. All right. So I will hold the cards like uh, one second, like this. All right. <laughs> so everybody can see them. Um, what happens here, guys, is not to be discouraged. It's all about that. So uh, this is um, this is a test of faith you're going to go through Sagittarius during this lunar cycle. You're going to make that mistake. So the universe is testing you how much you want what you are after. All right. Because the lesson that you're about to learn points that 
even though something isn't go the way you are expecting it to go or the way you uh, you biased yourself around all right <clears throat> uh it's still if you take on the responsibility for your petite failure and if you take the responsibility for your goal as well nothing cannot be repaired so it that means guys that it's not it's not over yet and you do have still room for even another error and all in all, this um, this um, uh, lunar cycle is for you to realize that we are human Sagittarius. It is what we do. We do mistakes. I mean, it's humanish to make a mistake, but sometimes out of those mistakes, the most beautiful things happen, and it is exactly what is going to happen for you here in the Ten of Pentacles. Through that mistake you are going to do, guys, you are going to either obtain uh, money, all right, or uh, you are going to obtain wealth, all right. Uh, wealth can be defined in many cases. Wealth could be health. Wealth could be your new job. Wealth could be uh, your family as well, you know. Wealth could be um, <clears throat> a new partner in law etc etc so it's all about how you define wealth Sagittarius so the point here is that you have done a mistake and out of that mistake comes the most happy thing that you recently experienced you know in your near past now the issue is going to be recognizing it and accepting accommodations for it all right so um <clears throat> What happens here with the six of um, with the six of wands is that you are going to start thinking that you don't deserve that fortune because that fortune came out of a um, of a mistake you did. And um, I just want to remind you the Murphy law saying that, and this is the first Murphy law saying that if you have done something right from the first time, then you have done a, a terrible mistake somewhere along the way. It never happens from the first try when you when you try it a hundred percent accurate against what needs to be done. All right, somewhere along the way, someone did a, a terrible mistake, and this is why it happens. All right, <laughs> so um, yeah, I have happy coincidences for you are going to happen during this lunar cycle, Sagittarius, and the energies which are going to support you here with the with the Eight of Cups. It is about recognizing your true direction in life or your true direction regarding the event which happened earlier that will grant you personal independence all right it will grant you comfort zone it will grant you as well trust into other people what i mean is that a, a lot more people will start trusting in you because they will see that uh you are ready to take on a responsibility for your error and for your mistake, you know, but you don't have to. All right. So they will be all right. This 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 man has a or this woman has a, a quite of a sense of personal integrity. So why don't we hire her or him or why don't I start dating with them or, or with him or her and see what happens? So this is uh, for you, Sagittarius, for this uh, lunar cycle. And now we move to Capricorn. One second, guys. Just one second, guys. Someone wants me badly, but they have to wait, I guess. <clears throat> until i'm done here with you beautiful people so yeah going to sagittarius as i said and again don't forget guys that at the end of this stream when i'm done with pisces which is three star signs from now three star signs from now um, i'm going to take a, a few questions from the auditory and answer to them by drawing tarot cards Thank you, Carmen. Thank you. Wow, we do have one card which popped up, and this is the Hierophant. So that is your um, <clears throat> that is the topic of your lunar cycle. By the way, um, this is a hint which I'm going to give you, and of course, this is 
based on my personal experience in case you are dealing with tarot cards uh, by all means you can do it the way you want it but personally for me when uh, i have been asked the question and do the shuffle a card or multiple card drops you know <clears throat> from the shuffling to me this is the answer to the question because the deck wants to give you those cards no matter what so for you as this card popped up during the shuffle capricorns this is the topic of your lunar cycle and now i'm continue shuffling for the next four cards so topic of the lunar cycle hierophant then we do have the high priest these challenges that you need to overcome here and uh knight of cups is intention wise for you capricorns page of pentacles is a lesson you need to learn and the last one is the energies which are going to help you to this lunar cycle that is going to be the four of cups so let me leave these couple of cards aside and let's focus on these three first um all right so uh what happens with you capricorns during this lunar cycle is that you're gonna follow a certain code of conduit or rather certain established patterns here with the hierophant card the hierophant card when it comes to career it is about working not for the money but working for the idea of working if that makes sense so this card shows guys that the project you are going to be involved with or the team that you are going to be involved involved with involved with you are going to seriously enjoy the work with those people and how much money you get out of that is going to be on the back seat of course of course money is going to be a factor or all right but it's not going to be the leading factor over there but the real meaning of these cards is about relationships for you capricorns you are about to define a new meaning of law for yourself during this lunar cycle all right you can't expect that air criteria are gonna drop off the table for yourself you you are going you should expect that you may fall in love into, with somebody that you uh, haven't even imagined that it is possible to even speak with such a person all right the whole point here guys is that you're going to start realizing capricorns that it is not about the butterflies in the stomach guys it is not about the um <clears throat> softness in your knee when you see a person you know but it is a about can you trust them in the sense of can you feel yourself depraved from drama around them can you feel yourself supported unconditionally when you are around them all right and the challenge here is going to be the high priestess which points the uh soul bond in between you and such a person so you're gonna struggle against that soul bond and no no wonder guys that you because your uh, criteria for a person around you it is it, it's different all right so uh, i will give you that example but i by all means i'm not talking uh, or i don't mean that you are such a person all right so it's about the beauty and the beast <laughs> uh or the the girl who liked the rich man who who liked rich people or rich man but she fell in love with a beggar it's the same thing you know all your life or let's say that girl all her life she went after guys with money but once in her world she saw a a beggar on the street and she fell in love with them and she did everything she could to withdraw from that attraction but she couldn't so it is what happens with you capricorns and that doesn't have to be with a third party you know you can start defining new love with your husband or with your wife you know for example especially if you had a, a recent conflict in between one another let's say that your wife get fired from job and now you say who is going to provide etc etc and you're really pissed off about it well, uh, in this lunar cycle, you're going to start realizing that money is not everything, guys, but more, uh, it's kind of like the emotional support and the emotional connection between you two is more than anything, is more than everything that you can expect from one person. That being said, expect big things 
to happen this week regarding your uh, personal life should you allow it to happen because you can put a, a heroic efforts to withdraw yourself from it and you can do it so then we do have the next couple of cards which are expressing the ethereal aspect of uh, this lunar cycle for you capricorns page of pentacles here as a lesson learned points guys that everything needs its time okay regarding either your career or your relationship nothing could happen overnight so continue on working but as well it is very important here with the page guys to be very aware what you want to achieve and start doing it slowly but steady bit by bit the page is all about hard and push hard push hard push until you actually reach your goal because the page is about uh planting seeds and i can say that you are doing a very good job guys until now regarding either your career or regarding either your relationship as a lesson learned especially relationship wise this is a about for, for uh following the primal emotions all right uh, and uh, it, it is a about uh, how can i place it following the these hunches you do have like i said the 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 girl when he, when she falls in love with the with the beggar she needs to give her herself to it completely this is what i'm trying to say and then we do have the uh, four of cups which is the energies that are going to surround you and those the the four of cups as an energy it is a, a very different card guys it is not about boredom uh, especially about surrounding uh, supporting energy it's about the mental clearness to foresee even the minor chance of improving one's circumstances so your mind is going to be very acute and sharp and cunning when it comes to finding a way out okay because as we see here guys you will have quite of a struggle fitting into your new criteria and your mind your the energies are going to give you the mind necessary to reach that particular um or to kind of bypass the majority of the issues you may have going for those um going for those new positions All right, so uh, that was for Capricorn. Now let me shuffle and we are going to Aquarius. One second. So Aquarius' <clears throat> topic is going to be the Nine of Swords. Then we do have the Page of Cups as the things uh, that is going to uh, obstruct Aquarius or rather like the challenges Aquarius needs to overcome. And we have the Eight of Cups as in intentions which Aquarius needs to follow in order to capitalize on this lunar cycle. So what happens for Aquarius here is that they will have a big thing in front of them that they need to take a responsibility uh, toward. Uh, that could be a big project, you know, or a an, an action or enterprise into one relationship that Aquarius fully should take on a responsibility should they fail upon it. Now, the failure, it is not uh, predicted here, guys, all right? But what we do have is the fear of failure, which may, uh, which may make you think, uh, which may, excuse me, which may make you have a second thoughts about it. So in, we have a, an awesome opportunity. That is one thing. But in the same time, we have a hesitation and fear for you taking that opportunity because the opportunity will involve a certain risk most likely career orientated you are going to have difficulty guys to um foresee the big picture you are going to be prone to be uh, 
to tunnel vision the minor details, which is exactly what you should not do, but rather be focused more upon the goal than the obstacle you can uh, you can encounter along the way. As well as this, these cards are showing that it is very vital here to reassess your position. This is from a mandatory. It is very important to recognize that the change is coming. Oh yes, guys. The change is coming for you. It is looming from the horizon for your Aquariuses. And recognition of where the change is going to come is going to be a challenge for you guys. So again, a acute mind it is needed or a sharp mind it is needed. Here given by the... By the uh, <clears throat> Nine of Swords, but Nine of Swords can only be turned positive when one is ready to take a responsibility and when one is ready to face their own fears. So are you feeling from failure? Are you feeling from being left alone? Are you feeling from uh, fearing from denial, guys? What I mean is that you you may have a suitor or rather you, you may have a person of interest in front of you, dating with them, dating while going on a cinema, hanging out, dinners, etc. But you never um, express your emotions and what you feel for them because you are fear because you have fear of denial that they will say, "Well, I don't fear for you the uh, feel for you the same way." Well, at least at the end, guys, you are gonna know about it, all right, and you will stop wasting your time but nonetheless as i said change is coming and what the change is going to give you here much better perspective so it's all about vision of perspectives and you need to obtain and adopt the most positive perspective possible that your life currently is giving to you and basically hang it in front of yourself as a goal guys and let the light of that goal illuminate the darkness that you are finding yourself at should you find yourself in a such dark place. And then we do have for you the Four of Swords, which is a lesson you need to learn. And this card does expresses the contemplation of one's emotions. And uh, how can I place it? And realization of what true positions are. <clears throat> Uh, let me let me try to elaborate a little bit more because it's it's rather very difficult to be explained as a follow up with these three cards. The four of swords it is about lesson pointing that no matter no matter what path you choose you can always make it comfortable for yourself as long as you are forewarned. All right. So it is very important to start gathering up on information. And this card, as a lesson learned, tells you guys that there is someone who is walking back from that road. And they can give you very sound advices. They can give you very uh, good tips of what you need to do and what is a... Uh, what is a... Uh, um, what is a wait, what, it, what it is awaiting you along the way as a pros and cons from your upcoming journey because for you Aquarius this upcoming journey is coming either you like it or not it is just a matter of how you're gonna face it will you have the acute mind to change your position or rather reassess your position <clears throat> uh, and uh, or should you just be afraid to take initiative because you need to take an initiative here Aquarius and uh, Basically, think the more for yourself. Don't allow, don't, don't allow yourself uh, to think the less of yourself. You know, you need to think big, guys. You need to think that you can achieve more and more and more. You need to think that you are worthy for a, a better future. And this is how you force the change. This is how you take on the change that it is looming on the horizon. Now, the change with the Page of Cups, it is rather slowly looming. So it may happen in the next couple of months to six months, but the preparations, it is also very important and during this lunar cycle, you need to start preparing for it, all right? Uh, now we do have the energies here, the chariot card as an energy, guys, points exactly the preparation. So these energies are going to allow you to, let's say, <clears throat> obtain and adopt a determination. Now the chariot is about a, um, a heroic effort in your case so the universe is going to help you overcome your fears these energy will totally allow you guys to start thinking the more of yourself and to uh, have these um, 
well say attitude but it is not even an attitude to have the strength and the courage the enormous courage to overcome your fears it is basically what this card is saying not to mention that these energies once taken uh, correctly and uh, based on them you accurately reassess your position it is very likely that you may find yourself into a leadership position and in a point of a great triumph there when the change finally take place so this was for Aquarius and now last but not least going to Pisces guys just to remind you after Pisces after Pisces not before Pisces but after Pisces I'm going to take a, a several questions from the audience and I'm going to answer to them by drawing a, a one tarot card for free per question so uh, that being said if you want your question to be answered <clears throat> this is the way how you do it apart from a personal reading of course and in case you're interested in such you can go to my website tarotpredictions.net and uh, <clears throat> by scrolling down the front page you're going to see the variety of services I have to offer as well the prices of each service over there thank you Sue so for Pisces six of swords is the first card that represents the lunar cycle for you guys then we do have the four of uh, the four of wands showing up the challenges that you need to overcome the knight of swords is the third card pointing to the intentions that you need to adopt here during this lunar cycle then uh, what we do have is the a lesson you need to learn and that will be the two of swords and the last card which is the page of pentacles that is going to be the um how can i place uh, the energies excuse me while wow, i'm getting a little bit tired all right so uh this cycle for you pisces is going to be all about transition and transmutation all right so um well transmutation yeah that this is the word i was searching for but now i'm searching for the word to to give you a comparison to <clears throat> oh yeah transformation and transmutation two different words people think that they are synonyms but they aren't so uh transmutation does express something which changes into something else differently totally differently it is through mutation it is the same thing to traverse the gold the, uh, the the iron into gold this is a a transmutation transformation is just to make a, a solid chunk of iron to a, a piece of art for example a katana sword or something like this so you're gonna go through a, a transmutation guys which means that you are going to make a step toward entirely unknown horizon step toward the unknown with a brave attempt to improve your personal circumstances i mean every action should be supported by that by that determination and convictions to improve your personal circumstances otherwise why you would have want to take an action it doesn't make any sense right if it's going to be in your disadvantage anyway what can really stop you here is the fear of the unknown or rather being um staggered by it now what you need to know here guys however is the reality of that there is nothing of you to be afraid of all right actually uh the challenge here it is pointing exactly the same thing the four of wands is saying that this thing this um step toward the unknown you have to take either into your career or into your relationship it is the final step of uh, finalizing a, a very important cycle of growth and every new beginning starts with the step toward the unknown so in another sense this is the your first step into your new life or rather like a new enterprise 
in your life regarding a field of expertise or a field of life in general. So uh, that could be, um, you know, your new state of, of the relationship, as I said, a transmutation. That would be your new job. But in case it's a new job, it's going to be totally different from the one you have worked right now. But what is important here as an intentional wise, guys, is the is the Knights of Swords and, and the Knight of Swords says that you need to be very uh, acute with your decisions. What I mean is that the, the decisions need to be made with the snap of your fingers. You don't have a time to waste here. And when it comes to a decision making during this lunar cycle for you, Pisces, it's all about scaling your uh, logic with your emotions. Okay, so. Um, the accurate or kind of like the right decision for yourself, it is that decision which is lo logically uh, approved, all right, logically supported, and in the same time totally respond to your emotions in the sense of that you like what you are going to do, all right? This is how you need to make your decision moving on forward. If you don't find a logical explanation of what you need to do or you don't like what you need to do, you totally don't have to do it, guys. That is the simple truth. And so the lesson you need to learn here, that is the Page of Pentacles, and we had it for a different sign back then and we have the same meaning here is that everything happens with its time but also it needs it, its investments either money time efforts knowledge etc etc so guys do not um do not be conservative when it comes to a new beginning here but rather start investing into it but it is very important as well with that card to realize what is substantial for yourself so this lunar cycle as well is going to open your eyes for the substantial points into your um into your life and also what goal moving on forward is substantial for you and last card is the um energies pisces and this card as a supportive energy points to the equilibrium that you're going to experience. So under equilibrium, I mean, guys, that, um, well, let's say that way. You will be able to distinguish the fiction from the facts based on the supportive energies. And by being able to do so, even if you are not aware, even if you have a, a second thought upon a action you need to take, stalling down the action, guys, is going to make the accurate approach obvious. So it's kind of like stalling time for you when it comes to actions, not to decisions, but to actions. Because you may decide to go after a certain thing, you know, how you're going to do it. However, that's an entirely different story. We're talking, the decision is to go after uh, this project, you know, how you're going to go after that project. That is an entirely different story. And it is regarding actions. So when you stall the situation, the uh, accurate actions will become obvious for you. So uh, what I can say here is that if you are not very... Are convinced of what you need to do it is better do nothing for the time being instead of doing stupid things all right this is all that these energies are saying for you <clears throat> and so uh shireen we are done with the star signs now i'm going to shuffle the cards guys and i'm going to uh take on a few questions from the auditory that i will answer by drawing a, a tarot card so go and ask your questions. We have a serious one, which is, uh, will my farm support us, asked by Meredith Joyce. Uh, the judgment. In its current state, no, but don't you worry. The judgment card does points that there will be an addition to the business, to the farm, for example. It could be either an investor, you know, or a new production that you are going to figure out, start um, 
sprawling into the farm. What I mean is that into the current state, Meredith, no, but you're going to find a way to work it through. And yes, it's going to support us in the long run. It is just be open for changing up the farm a little bit, rearranging it, you know, um, adding a, a new goods, for example, or a new, uh, you know, animals in case it's an animal farm pig farm or a, a cow farm etc etc but yeah overall is going to support you it is just it needs a little bit more expanding that was about meredith and uh, uh let me i saw one good marina gonzalez asks uh what do you see for me in love this year and for you in love uh, Marina is going to be the Emperor. So you're gonna first of all take full control upon your love life, which either means that you are going to be the leading force into one relationship, should you have one, or in case you do have one, or you are not going to meet an inappropriate person because everybody will be a loser that is trying to approach you. And the, uh, the good guys which are trying to approach you, well, they are going to see you as a very high standard in a sense that they will not have the guts to approach you. So if you want to be with someone, then it is up to you to do the first steps approaching into one relationship. Dennis Bailey Jack Jackson asks, what can I do about my relationship? Uh, nine of Swords, not much for what I can say. Not much, it is just you accept your relationship the point, uh, as poignant it is, and uh, that's that. But it is very important if you want to improve your relationship, it is very important to uh, do what you say. What I mean is that uh, basically keep on uh, to the word you say and as well, uh, do not give a, a drama, do not make a drama. Uh, at least for now with that card, Dennis, your relationship uh, does not budge on change. It basically stays as it is. All right, let me choose a, a few more. Uh, to Denise Loyton, I will just say that for the tarot cards, locations are irrelevant. I will not draw your tarot cards. I will say to you that uh, locations are irrelevant. What I mean is that if you are meant to be successful or loved, you will be regardless of where you're finding yourself at, what you're going to work or whom you're going to be with. These things are entirely your choice. We are looking here at the grand scheme of things. Reallocating is irrelevant to the cards and to the universe overall. Uh, Kerry Kerry asks, uh, is her divorce are going to move on smoothly? Uh, no, entirely. Uh, we have the Eight of Swords here and uh, there is a, a disruption in between the communication or rather the demands in between you and your husband. In other words, Something that your husband wants, it is unacceptable for you. And something that you want, it is an acceptable condition to your husband. That being said, there will be a struggle. Uh, let me find a couple of more. Alexandra Rodriguez have a difficulty into her work. You have a difficulty in your work. It is because uh, your boss, most likely, because this card could represent your boss, invested in you and now he doesn't see cashing in into his investments. All right. And uh, you are basically failing his trust that he have placed into you. The truth here, Alexandra, is that you need to be more devoted. As soon as you are more devoted, the uh, things are going to get much better for you. Okay, so 
Sabina Muresan. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, Sabrina. Uh, what will happen regarding my job is what she asks. And uh, we have the King of Wands. You are going to be recommended about something for what it seems here. I mean, someone is having a pretty good idea of uh, what you're capable of. And they are planning something for you, which is on the positive end. But you need to know that this person have, it could be your boss or your supervisor, they have a, a high expectations. So as soon as the opportunity comes and you decide to take it, no slacking or failure, it's a lot. Uh, these people, they hate fail. They don't handle failure very, very well, just so you know. It's kind of like, uh, it's, uh, it's unacceptable. That being said, uh, it will be an awesome opportunity for you, lucrative as well, but uh, you have to be ready to devote all of your life to your career. All right, so um, one more, let me choose it. So Kim Simon asks, any job change for me? Oh yeah, with the Ace of Cups, I, I don't think that is going to be new job with that card. But it's going to be a new circumstances in your current job in case you do have one. Now, if you don't have a job, this is going to be a new job. But if you do have a job right now, this is going to be a new circumstances. Like, for example, your boss dies and he gets, uh, <clears throat> you know, succeeded by his son, let's say, you know. And his son is much more better as a, a management and as a, a boss overall than your current boss. Or, well, this card for you, Kim, points that these circumstances that happened, this was just an, an example, you know, I'm not saying that your boss is going to die. But a, a new circumstances will happen which are going to make your current problems that you do have totally irrelevant and will put them back into the past, which means that that will be a refresh start, much happier than what, what you're finding yourself right now into either your current job or you're about to find a, a new job that you're going to pretty much like. So uh, that was uh, the tarot reading for tonight, guys, for the full moon into Scorpio. And I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. Thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, it was an honor to be your host tonight. And uh, in case you are interested in a private reading with me, um, <clears throat> you can check out my website, tarotpredictions.net. Also, it will be written here in the description of this video, guys. Uh, and uh, you can, by scrolling down the front page, you can, um, <clears throat> you can find my services there and their prices as well. Uh, for those who want to re-watch the video and they have missed their star sign, the video will be on recording here uh, in my Facebook page or you can check out my YouTube channel as well where you can find the same video in a couple of hours. It has to be uploaded first. And afterwards, what I can say is uh, that um, I wish you all the best, guys. Stay forewarned, thus you're going to be for, forearmed and uh, see you each other next time. Until then, bye.